traders must be still hunting for Easter eggs because there ain't nothing going on in the markets. What's up, everybody? Welcome aboard to Bubba's Daily Update for Monday, April the 18th. And, well, I mean, there's nothing going on. What can I say? It's it's as dull and as dead as I've seen. I can't remember the last time I've seen action like this is is brutal. Okay. There's just nothing to do, nothing to trade. I just uh, look for the markets to go in your direction. But we're really possibly trying to break out of this consolidation pattern we've been in forever. So we'll see. But in the meantime, volumes are at about 30% of norm. Okay. So that's an issue. Okay. As we look at the markets, you've got the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P higher. They've been on both sides of unchanged. Uh, We are long the Dow, long the S&P, short the NASDAQ, and the Russell's lower, which we are also short. Crude is up about a buck. Okay. Uh, and again, not a surprise, we're still long crude. Uh, the metals are flying this morning. Uh, they've come off a little bit from their highs. Gold and silver were long both. Uh, you know, there are a lot of things going on in the world geopolitically and other things that, that indicate that maybe, uh, you know, we could see a much bigger price move. As, as assumed, this 2000 level in gold was going to be, you know, an issue just for whether it's temporary or a little bit longer term. But ex- expect that I, I expect them to go considerably higher. Um, bonds and notes have been all over the place, but they're going, the notes, they're going down. We're still short both bonds and notes. Interest rates are going up. Okay. Forget about what you hear, what you see. They're going higher. Mortgage rates are probably going to six or seven percent or eight percent. They're going up. Okay. Housing prices are coming down. Very simple. Okay. The dollar's higher. We're long. Um, Bitcoin is lower. We're short. Uh, copper is higher and we are short. Natural gas, <laughs> almost eight dollars. Un- unbelievable. Well, thank you, President Biden, though, for making this a, a, a priority for us to stick it to us, so we can have these ridiculously high high prices and 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 inflation. Okay. By the way, platinum is back over uh, a, a thousand. Okay. Um, but uh, in the meantime, uh, as we look at the in the grain markets, they're flying higher this morning. Uh, corn up eighteen cents. Beans up 32 and wheat up 35. We're long them all. Okay. Which again is putting a little bit of pressure on part of the protein complex. Uh, feeder cattle is down about two bucks. Hogs are up about two and, and fat cattle is, is up about 50 cents. We are short all three. And in the sauce, uh, cotton is exploding higher once again and we're long. Coffee is flat and we're long. Sugar's higher. We're long. Cocoa's lower and we're short. And OJ continues to go to Pluto. Uh, unbelievable, 182, uh, and we're still long. So, look, at the end of the day, um, it's a tough market. It's tough to trade it, to be active, okay? Just hold your positions as they are. Don't worry about it. And in the meantime, just listen, be careful out there, okay? And don't forget about our sponsors. Scrolling on the bottom or up on the side, it's Capital Trading Group, Tradier, uh, uh, Strategic Wealth Preservation, of course, our high school program. In the meantime, be good, be careful, and have a great day, everybody. This is Bubba's Daily Update for Monday, the uh, 18th of April. And happy Passover for those still celebrating. And I hope you find your Easter eggs and get back to the market soon. Have a great week, everybody. We'll see you later.